Well, tonight, counties, 65 counties in Alabama considered high risk for COVID-19. And school systems across the state are lifting mandatory face covering policies. That has some doctors concerned. Good evening, I'm Art Franklin. I'm Sherry Jackson. Health leaders say now is not the right time to get rid of mask mandates. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us live with why they are saying masks still need to be in place because as you see all the red here, transmission is still very high. That's right, Sherry. And whether your family is for wearing masks or not, most people can agree that keeping children learning in the classroom is the best environment for them to do so. But tonight, health leaders are saying that if they lift these mandates too early, it may not be helping these districts achieve their desired outcome. How long do y'all think that schools should be masking? Indefinitely. That's what health leaders at UAB and Children's of Alabama say is necessary to protect kids. As the numbers do decrease, as the rates do decrease, and we drop below substantial, then we can loosen up some. But they say now's not the time as we stay in the red for COVID-19 transmission. Coleman City Schools have been mask optional this year, except for two buildings around Labor Day. The reason we did that on those campuses are positive cases. Student numbers were over 5%. Uh, so the board uh, agreed to do a mask mandate on those two campuses for two weeks. And at the expiration of those two weeks, our cases were almost below 1%. But health leaders say this just doesn't cut it. That doesn't make sense. And yet that's what many schools are doing. And I can promise you what's going to happen. Cases will come roaring back and then they'll have to redo it all over again. And there'll be a lot of virtual people learning. And I mean, it's just, it's just silly. Let's just do it the right way. Stay the course and get to the other side of this. You know, if that really helped to bring the cases down from like 5% to less than 1% in both of these buildings, why not keep something like that in place? And how certain are you that people are going to continue to stay safe? I'm not certain. You know, we can't control what happens outside of our school. We can only control what happens at the school. I think things are settling. Our, our kids are doing a great job. Uh, you know, we strongly recommend masks, but that's your, that's your decision as a parent if you want to put your child in a mask. Now, the Col Coleman City School Superintendent says that the district is constantly monitoring those positive COVID-19 cases and has added additional cleanings since that small outbreak in the district. But as for health leaders, they're saying that masking up is the best thing to do, especially when you're around children. Reporting live in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Jen, thank you more now about children. Pfizer says this COVID vaccine is 